Welcome. Now in this module, we're going to talk about ASP.NET MVC application security hardening. ASP.NET is a very widely used platform uh, that is developed by Microsoft, and the MVC framework is one of the newer uh, platforms that, uh, that Microsoft has made available, and it has many built-in security tools that are part of the MVC framework. So if you take a look at this URL, uh, from OWASP, uh, this is the recommended set of security controls that we're suggesting, um, which is the uh, security cheat sheet from OWASP. Now, let's take a look at some of these controls. Um, first of all, ASP.NET MVC stands for Model View Controller. It's a contemporary, uh, fairly current uh, web application framework that uses more standardized HTTP communication than the web forms postback model. Okay, so uh, now the OWASP top 10 lists the most prevalent and dangerous threats to web security in the world today and is reviewed every three years. So uh, if you're a web developer, then certainly you should go out and keep studying and looking in the details of the OWASP top 10 uh, vulnerabilities which are identified. And they are they, that's a very, very good um, uh, research and publication, which is free of cost on the OWASP website, and web developers should take a lot of help from, from the OWASP top 10. Now, after covering the top 10, it is generally advisable to assess for other threats as well, or get a professional penetration test in the case where this is an, an application which, has, which is exposed to the outside world, or it's a financial application which has transactions running in it, or it has other uh, such uh, uh, business criticality and the security implications are severe, and hence we need to make sure that we take additional steps, for example, a professional uh, uh, penetration test, which a company like, uh, uh, like Delta Tech or other companies in the industry, they do a professional penetration test. Now, your approach to securing your web application should be to start at the top threat, which is in OWASP top 10, it starts from A1, it goes to A2, A3, A4, and all the way up to A10. Start at the top thread A1 below and work down. This will ensure that any time spent on security will be spent most effectively because A1 is the most severe, most common vulnerability with the greatest impact, and then A2, and then A3, and A4. So, the, uh, so uh, OWASP actually recommends that you should start with A1, spend the most time there, and then go ahead sequentially, A2, A3, A4, et cetera. And cover the top threats first and lesser threats afterwards. So let's take a look at A.6 for MVC ASP.NET applications. Um, what it says is sensitive data exposure. Do not store encrypted passwords. Do use a strong hash to store password credentials. Use um, uh, PBKDF2. Decrypt or script with at least 8,000 iterations and a strong key. Do enforce passwords with a minimum complexity that will survive a dictionary attack. That is longer passwords that use the full character set to increase the entropy. So what's, what we're, uh, what we're uh, saying here is that you should use a, a sufficient complexity so that dictionary attack will not be successful. Do use a strong encryption routine such as AES-512 where personally identifiable data needs to be restored to its original format. Do not encrypt passwords. Protect encryption keys more than any other asset. Apply the following test. Would you be happy leaving the data on a spreadsheet on a bus for everyone to read? Very interesting. And the answer would obviously be no. Assume the attacker can get direct access to your database and protect it accordingly. Do use TLS 1.2 for your entire site. Get a free certificate from startssl.com or letsencrypt.org. Do not allow SSL, the older versions. This is now obsolete. Do have a strong TLS policy. See SSL best practices, and you can go to the you can go on the web and go to the link and actually see because this is a URL. Um, and you can get further details. Use, use TLS 1.2 wherever possible. 
uh, then check the configuration using SSL test, which is another tool. Do ensure headers are not disclosing information about your application. And see HTTP headers.cs, uh, Dionax strip headers, which are additional tools, or disable via web config. So as you can see, there's very, very, uh, there's a fair amount of technical uh, language used here, which is specific to MVC, uh, ASP.MVC. And if you're an ASP.NET MVC developer, then you should actually go ahead, go to the URL, which has been suggested, take a look at all the controls and follow the eight-step hardening process that we talked about in the previous module and in uh, before as well in the course, earlier in the course, and harden your source code um, with the help of these controls, which is very, very important. Thank you very much.